late night out. Sort of a nostalgic thing. I came here for prom. You went on a case every Saturday night for like the last five weeks. And I just thought it was time for a little R&R. &R. I was thinking rum and regurgitation, but your idea is good, too. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Beat it. Kidding? We've had our eye on you ever since Harry over here was gnawing on his own arm. <laughs> Something really classy. Okay, so I try to get all the balls in the holes, right? I'm just checking. You know me. Uh -huh. Blonde bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are so good for your first time. I bet you want a lot of money from those guys over there. Oh, about a thousand bucks or so. I guess it was like on one of those beginner's lucky streets. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, Fonzie. Thought you just hate getting husky. <laughs> Surfer bar about a half a mile up the road. Lead Lead the way. Way. Hello, boys. Woody. You fellas look like you need your numbers crunched. Only the baddest bean counter this side of the Bank of America. Only the ballsiest bookkeeper you've ever laid eyes on. You boys read the papers? Wimpy accountants are passe. We've stripped off the black horn rimmed glasses and strapped on the black masks. We're the new outlaws, Mr. Malloy. The only question is, are you ready? I was too evil for Enron. Feels like no one's ever done. I split your stock and cut your dead and loot. Don't care about your religion. You can pray to God or Buddha. As long as your awful partnerships are all based in Bermuda. I'm a CPA that's spelled C P. A child, CPA, Anderson, Deloitte, Tooch, even the SEC. Just print my name on your bottom line, don't let me. Don't look too close, just shut your eyes, make sure to close the door. My slide rule, make a doubt, don't rise, your cash is gonna flow. I'm a CPA. So when can you start? There's a wire attached to that card. There's probably a bomb underneath. Who wrong shoes? A letter opener, a pen, and two elastic bands make scissoring a celebration and vice versa. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Andrews, who knows you make a call at 1030 every day? Oh, my God. But speaking of humiliation, why'd you tell Mueller I know yoga? Here she is, one genuine, beautiful ex-con Hungarian princess. Put her in your hotel in the room above the... Jack? What? Oh, that oh. was a joke. Thank you. I drive my men hard, but only so I can make more money. Do you think they resent you? Absolutely. They're not morons. Well, OK, they are. But they still resent me. Hey, one of them's trying to kill me. And that doesn't bother you? Ouch. Is that hot or what? Come to mama. My toes are starting to curl. Hmm. Sorry. We were talking about the plasma screen. That's a new monitor, isn't it? Would my face be red? Sometimes, sure. Like over lunch. Our next mission is a wedding. I cast TV's James Vanderbeek as the groom. No, that idea was rejected. Oh, do I get to wear black Reeboks and say things like rotation serving and prep time? Rotation serving, prep time. Fine, but I refuse to do the hokey pokey. 
Cassie's pager. Turns out those alpha messages sent to her originated from the Persimmon Spa in Brentwood. You also destroyed two Picassos in a row. Many children's orphanage. Orphans like to travel too. Is that so wrong? What's the big deal? It was twelve thousand dollars. I know what's bothering you. The chairman beat it doesn't live up to. I mean, it's that 99% of politicians that give the others bad names. Women, thanks to a program created by you, you Jack. Jack. Me, Jack. And that your continued freedom is be better ensured by our success. Yep, that's because they spend all their money on the first one. Put in lots of sex. Cassie, can we get out of this? Would you please knock me unconscious? Sure. Any particular reason why? Yeah, it's already happened twice today. Rule three. You know. I'm sorry. I didn't see any other way out. First, I want to thank you all for staying after closing. So you're going to kill us and work late for free? <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> I appreciate you being here because this could be a very special occasion. I'm hoping that these three ladies will join us in our quest for respect and justice. Am I missing something? It seems your quest is knocking off Andrew so Conrad can take over. Conrad's our puppet. He does what we say. In exchange for? Well, we considered sexual favors and money, but then we offered not to kill him. He was fine with that. So you're going to run the company? Gag him. Men should be seen and not heard. No, Jameson, or whoever you really are, I'm not taking over plastic wear. We are. We're a collective. And it isn't plastic wear we're after. It's the world. Oh, well, it's about time. I beg your pardon. Hello. Explaining the evil plan? Well, you should have thought of that before we got captured. Plastic wear is just a small part of a very large movement. A secret society of secretaries. We're tired of being taken advantage of by bosses. We lie to their wives. We pick up their laundry. They say knock off at six and think we're even. Well, we're not. We're getting even now. You find a front man like Conrad, get rid of the CEO, and you take over the company. Whoever you are, you're obviously here to stop us. Just do me one favor. Take a look at our presentation. I think it might just change your minds and your lives. Val? Traditionally, taking over the world is a one-man operation. And I do mean man. The reason we'll succeed is we're harnessing the energy and talent of America's most undervalued resource. Secretaries. In the standard corporate structure, you have imbecilic men, submissive women, who actually get the work done. The secret society of secretaries has a different structure. First, the boss resigns or dies. Then the secretary takes power. It's more efficient because a useless layer has been eliminated. With no inflated salaries for corrupt bosses, there is a significant savings. And it's more profitable because men are stupid. The result, a new American and soon global economy, one built on the drive, enthusiasm, and imagination of secretaries. Thanks, Val. Now, you all have clipboards. The front pages are for the information we want, and the back ones are application forms. We'll need those in triplicate. And if we refuse to join, you'll kill us? Because you should be with us, not against us. You probably take orders from a man, right? Then the way you look. You know, you've got a point. Sometimes I think half the reason we're successful is because people look at us and underestimate us. <laughs> because you're babes. I was going to say women, but okay, go with that. This isn't just about gender, humiliation, hierarchies and underlings, bosses and workers. Is that the way you all feel? Yeah. Then we're back where we started. If you won't talk, we're prepared to multitask our office equipment. Meaning? We found some unique uses for the copy machine, the copy maker, the stapler. Ouch. Well... <clears throat> Where should we uh, put our clipboards? 